Roberts. Someone's got to do him. Oh, Tal. I don't want to get behind with these street robberies. I want them written up ASAP. So, how long have we got? I want the transcripts ready for sending this time tomorrow. But there's hours of interviews to write up, Gov. Look at them. I know it's brain damaging, but you're just going to have to stay here till it's done. If it goes wrong in court, I don't want the CPS saying we didn't get the papers to them on time. And I'll get Lenny Roberts, the man with the unintelligible Scottish accent and verbal diarrhoea. Gov, I had a call about half an hour ago from an ex-snout, Ricky Jessup. He works at the Beckwith Arms. Reckon some bloke's using the car park for selling stolen cars. Thought it might be worth taking a look. He's seen money change hands three times. Three sports cars. Look, I'm sorry, Tosh. Everything's on hold till these interviews are written up. Gov, I was the one who manned the phones while everyone was on that obo in Camber Road. And I spent all last week going through old crime sheets. All I want is an hour or two in the fresh air. See what I can turn up. You say you got this information from an ex-snout? Yeah, but Ricky's good for it. He's never let me down, Gov. And he's been looking to do me a favour ever since I got him that reduced sentence. Ah, oh, Jack, there you are. I'll be with you in a minute, sir. Look, well, if you're that keen, clear it with Diaz Daly. Take Rod with you if you want to. Right, Gov. But if there's nothing there, I don't want you back here. Right. Chair Oscar from DC Lines receiving. Go ahead, Tosh. Yeah, can you do me a vehicle check, George? Registration Lima 282. Golf Hotel X ray. Stand by. It's come up as scrapped. Has it really? Thanks, mate. Uh, I'll have one of those coffees, please. Yeah. No, 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 I just got it. Yeah. Well, just tell me if it's coming or not. Yeah. Tom. Yeah, fine. Guess I'm halfway. What are you doing here? Why don't you tell me the man I said I should come along? Because I don't need you. Look, Rob, with all due respect, you've got to back off. There's a bloke in there who I think's trying to shift a stolen car. Where? It's parked outside. I've done a check and it's come up as scrapped. And also the plates. They're definitely newer than the motor. So what are you going to do? I'm going to try and speak to him. Make out I've got some money to spend. You got a problem? Yeah, shouldn't you be checking this out at Meadows first? Yes, I will. Of course I will. But if this bloke's selling dodgy motors, you can't just go charging in. I know what I'm doing. Actually, while you're here, you can help me out. Excuse me, mate. What? The Vauxhall outside, is it yours? Only it looks like some bloke's trying to break into it. Hey! Stay there! Now, why don't you tell this gentleman what you were doing? I wasn't doing that. Just let me... What are you doing to his car? I don't want any trouble. So just get out of my way, will you? Leave him. Leave him. It's not worth it. I wasn't doing anything, all right? So back off! Cheeky sod. You OK? Yeah. At least he didn't nick it. How's it looking? Reckon we got here just in time. Thanks, mate. I owe you one. Well, I wouldn't say no to a pint. There you go. Ah, oh, cheers. I'll get that looked at. Nah, it's probably just bruised. We'll be okay. You not having one? No, I've got one already. Oh. Anyway, thanks again, mate. You did me a favour. I appreciate it. Actually, you uh, might be able to do me a favour in return. I don't know this area very well, but uh, somebody told me it's a good place to buy property. Apparently it's not very expensive. Couldn't tell you, mate. It's not Mayfair, that's for sure. Oh, so you're like me, then? You're not from round here? 
here on business. I've got the property details somewhere. They must be in the glove compartment. Whiskin Road, you me. Like I said, I don't know this area. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you're joking. Yeah, but, but he knows it's a giveaway price. Yeah, all right, give me his number. Yeah, I'll ring him. OK, Tom, yeah. Engaged. So much for being here on business. What's your problem? Ah, oh, that motor outside's for a customer. Looks like he's let me down. Well, I don't know what he thinks he's playing at. Well, it makes sense to me. Well, it's obvious. If he offers him a stolen car, he can nick him. Jim, it's a sports car. Well, so? But I'm not knocking Tosh. But we're talking about somebody who hasn't changed his shirt in a week. There's no way he looks like somebody would be interested in a car like that. And I suppose you would. Jeff, can I have a word? Go off. So what's that supposed to mean? Well, it seems to me as though you think you should be doing it. Sour grapes, is it? Has Tosh come up with anything? Uh, we're not sure yet, Gov. How's this seem to you? Fine. Why? Well, I just want to ask if he could go out. I got the feeling he wasn't giving me much of a choice, that he was hacked off about something. I think he's just cheesed off because he was away when we made the arrest for these street robberies. Rod and Jim got all the glory when I suppose the results all down to Tosh's legwork. Well, if that's what it was, he must be getting touchy in his old age. Do you mind if I take a quick look? Thing is, mate, I want to get back to the garage for 12. I've got things to do, you know. Sorry. It's just I heard you say it was going for a giveaway price. There's no harm in taking a look, is there? It's fine. Ta. How big is the engine? Two litre, 16 valve. Electric windows. I've never owned a car like this. How much you asking? Look, I it... want to know. This sort of mileage, features it's got, a motor like this go for well over ten. Run. I need a quick sale, so I'm looking for eight. Eight grand? Yeah. Now look, I'm sorry mate, but I gotta go. I think he's thinking about it. This redundancy money I've got, maybe I don't need to put it all into this property. 30 odd years working every hour, God sends. All these drivers of second hand bottom of the range motor. Maybe I should treat myself once. Eh? It's all legit, is it? You'd be saving 3k. You get all the documents, registration certificate, everything. You can look for yourself. Hey, Grande. It's a bit steep. I'm sorry, mate. I'm wasting your time. That's too much. I've got a Toyota MR2, J Ridge. Not many miles, it's a beautiful car. That's going for six. That's a good price, is it? Three grand below the book. Trouble is, I'm moving on after the day, so it needs to be this afternoon. In cash. Don't like it, you don't buy it. But I'm telling you now, I'm not going to bring it over here unless you're really interested. OK? Yeah? I'm interested. Don't want to be messed about on this, right? Got a mobile? Yeah. Fire. How'd it go, then? The car's got to be nicked. He's virtually selling it at half price. Tosh. Ah, oh, Sarge. Is the DCI about? As a matter of fact, he's just been summoned to Mr Brownlow's office. We've got a DI noble in from the stolen vehicles unit. The car squad? It seems she's not very happy about some Sun Hill officer who's threatening her robber at the back with arms. We don't know where they're ringing the cars. But this was going to give us proof that they were selling them on. And how long has this hobo been running? Three days. Our suspect comes out with what looks like the first customer of the day, and my dear shouts out, hey, that's Tosh Lines. Great. Thought he might be after a hooky car. Jack? Absolutely not. He got word from an ex snout that something was going on, and he went to have a look. And you approved of him going undercover, did you? Well, the understanding was he'd have a look, nothing else. So why didn't he give us a call as soon as he found out what was going on? 
I think you'll have to ask him that yourself. We've been after the suspect, Pete Gapper, for months. Basically, sir, if your office had shown out this morning, our whole operation would have gone down the pan. I and mean, what does he think he's playing at? Well, it looks as though Tosh has got some explaining to do. Doesn't it, Jack? As far as I'm concerned, I wasn't acting under cover, sir. We can show you the video, if you like. I just went along with events as they unfolded. My intention was to make speculative inquiries, that's all. Well, getting Skies to make out he was trying to nick the car. Saying that you were interested in buying the car. Now, that's not speculative inquiries. I'm sorry, Mark, but it came up as scrapped, which, as I understand it, doesn't make it certain that the car's a ringer. True, but... I was just trying to make sure, that's all. That doesn't all. mean you pose as a buyer, though, does it? I'd better be going. Yeah, well, as I said before, I'm sorry about this mix-up. Just remember, if you get word about car ringers in the future, give us a call. Yes, ma'am. Of course, nobody's denying that Tosh has made a mistake on this one, but perhaps your squad could have made us a bit more aware of what you were up to. There is such a thing as confidentiality, sir, even in the services. There's also such a thing as communication. Let's leave it there for the time being, shall we? Sir. Right, I'll show you out. Mum, one thing I don't understand. You say you've already filmed Gappa selling cars, so why haven't you nicked him? I had him in court three years ago. He got off with a suspended. I only had proof he was selling on one car. If I wanted to get a decent custodial sentence, which is what, three years at best, I have to prove that he's selling on a lot of cars as a business. Right. Which is why I'm sitting up for as long as it takes. The more cars, the better. Well, I think you might have a bit of a problem there, Mum. Gaffer seemed pretty sure that he was moving on after today. How sure? Well, he made a point of telling me that he was only going to be there this afternoon. Oh, brilliant. Well, could he be lying? I can't see why he would. So what you're saying is, basically, if he doesn't turn up today, you've lost him? Possibly. Well, perhaps we should send Tosh in. Well, obviously, it all depends on Gapper phoning to say that the deal's on. But I intend to wire Tosh up and send him in with the money. And you're sure he's up to it, are you, Jack? Bit of a risk, isn't it? What exactly is the risk, sir? Well, undercover works for specialist officers. My main concern is they go for the money and he gets hurt. Well, according to our brief, that's not this gang's M.O. D.I. Noble's keen because the suspect's moving on and this is the last chance of getting any evidence. If we don't cooperate now, we risk antagonising the car squad again. The risk to Tosh is minimal. He's going to be on camera and there'll be plenty of officers within eyeball. So if anything goes wrong, we move in. Hmm. Tosh. Yeah? We're on. Oh, right. Good luck. Ta. Serpico. Sorry about the holes. Don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll make a claim for it. <laughs> right, we'll go through this again later, yeah, but in the meantime, just get used to the feel of switching it on in your pocket, yeah? Okay. So how long's the tip? One hour. We'll be in a room overlooking the car park, viewing it on the monitor. There'll be two units sitting up ready to move in. So what's the signal? Gapper takes the money. That's six grand, is it? Yep. We're not going to be able to hear what's being said, so we'll move in the minute we see him take it. Go on. Hello? Oh, hello, mate. How are you doing? Yeah, I've checked on that car you're on about. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's a good price. Yeah, so I've sorted out the money. Oh. Oh, right. Well, that's a shame, yeah. Yeah, OK, yeah. Well, it's worth taking a look, isn't it? Yeah. I'll see you then. Cheers, mate. Is there a problem? He's offering a different car, a Mercedes. Different car, same price. Shouldn't be a problem, should it? So what time does he want you to meet up? Three. Well, let's get going. DCI Meadows from DC Skates receiving. Go ahead, Rod. 
Beckwith, just around the corner from the Beckworth Arms and Elcott Gardens. Trash is pulling in now. There's no sign of the target. We'll let you know as soon as he shows. Received. Try zooming in on Tosh. I'll be happy, at least you're not stuck in the office getting right as crap. No, I've got to be sitting here for God knows how long just because Tosh gets it into his head to go proactive. What time you got? Nearly three. I've got a mate who's an SO10. Six months before he could go undercover. Tosh reckons he can do it in an afternoon. Let's hope Gapper's not winding us all up. Mom. Yeah, not so bad. So this is it then, eh? Yeah. Take a look. Very nice. I've got all the paperwork inside. Check the book price, look. It's even a picture. Same year. What's the mileage? 70. So according to this then, I'm in by what? Nearly four grand. Might as well be giving it away. Let's bring the money. Yeah. Uh, but I better take a proper look though, eh? Yeah, yeah, of course. Cheers. Come on, Tosh. It's got four wheels. What more do you want? It's not a problem. It's taking his time, like I told him. Power steering, air conditioning, really good stereo. Uh, electric everything, you know, windows, sunroof, central locking. Well, you're right. It's beautiful. Yeah, you'll have no regrets, believe me. All units from DR Noble, stand by. And the mileage is genuine? Yeah. Okay. I'll take it. Go, go, go! and there'll be no trouble. Where's unit one? Tell him to hold back. Look, he's armed. Back off! Or I'll shoot him! I mean it, I'm not joking! No! Just keep away. Just think what you're doing, will you? And waving that about is doing no good at all. Just keep away! I want an ARV to the Beckwith Arms, Ockham Street. The suspect is threatening our officers with what looks like a handgun. On. Just, just put it on the floor. How did you do that? How did you set me up? I can't believe I was taken in by a copper. You want to know something? I was trying to do you a favour. I changed the car because after what you said I thought, nah, a merc. I could see you in a merc. There's no way you can get away with this. I think you better shut up. So what are we going to do? Stand here all day. I said, shut up. I've never used it. I just got turned over last week, that's all. I'm sorry. You're right, mate. Yeah, I think so. Tony Stamp proved the gun at the scene, and he's confirmed it was loaded. Hmm. Of course, it could be argued that uh, Tosh had never been in that position. Yes, it could. 
The fact is he was eager to take the risk, so he's got to share some of the responsibility. And at the end of the day, we have got results. The I Nobles Ranch has got enough evidence to make sure that Gapper gets a lot more than a slap on the wrist from the courts. After using one of our officers as bait? I suppose I better have a word with him. Jack, I appreciate you didn't want D.I. Noble running around bad-mouthing Sun Hill. But I think on this occasion we've all tried rather too hard to save face. Look, man, he was only doing his job. Yeah, and he nearly goes and gets his head blown off. You do not put yourself in that kind of situation. Yeah, but I was tossed to know what was going to happen. But it was a big gamble, Sarge. Paid off in the end, though. Yeah, only just. Oh, come on. It's the governors. They shouldn't have authorised it. Where's Josh? Toilet, sir, I think. Thank you. Mr Brownlow wants to see you. Out of his pram, is he? Well, with some justification, in my view. So what's it all about, Sasha? Hey? I accept you were going stir-crazy in the office and you wanted to get out and about. But that doesn't explain the way you went after your suspect. I mean, you must have known you were overstepping the mark. With respect, Gov, if I was overstepping the mark, why did you put me in to do the buy? OK, I admit I had a few things on my mind to do with the job. Maybe they got to me. What are you talking about? Forget it. No, no, go on. It's just that sometimes... Let's just say there are times when you get the distinct impression, when you've got, what, only three years left in the service, that people have written you off. What? I'll give you an example. The things I've been passed over on recently. You had Rod and Susie on the Holmes course, Liz on the surveillance course. No, no, no. And I wasn't even involved in it, Eli. Oh, you know as well as I do, I'm not going to waste opportunities on somebody who's going to leave the force in a few years. Exactly! Well, it's common sense. You invest resources in those who are going to give you the biggest return. Why didn't you line up a load of probationers? Surely experience counts for something, Gov. When I was in the pub and Rod came in, I don't know, maybe he thought he was going to take over. And that's the other thing, people like Rod. They see you still at DC and they think all you want to do is hide behind the desk. I told him that I was going to get talking to the suspect. And the look on his face. As if I was mad. Well, perhaps he was... But I knew I could get talking to the bloke. I just knew it. So that's what all this is about, is it? Thinking you've got something to prove. Maybe. Well, for what it's worth, if anybody else had come into my office and asked if they could go out and have a look, I'd have said no. And I mean that. You've got nothing to prove, mate. Believe me. Mr Brownlow's still waiting for you. Yes, Gov. <laughs> 